Let's give the answer of the following equation. 14 and 77 hundredths plus 3 and 12 hundredths. What is the answer? The four steps in analyzing the problem, and these are plan, under the plan, there is what is asked, what are the given, and for letter B, understand. Under understand, we have what is the hidden question. And what operations to use? And letter C, solve. And D, check. Now, what is asked? If her money was 200 peso bill, how much was his change? The given two notebooks at 48 pesos and 50 centavos, a pad of 30 pesos and 75 centavos, and 200 pesos. How much is the cost of two notebooks? That's the hidden question. And how much is the total cost that he bought? What are the operations to be used? Addition, subtraction, and multiplication. And to solve, here is the number sentence. 200 pesos minus 48 pesos and 50 centavos times 2 plus 30 pesos and 75 centavos equals N. Now, using this number sentence, we're going to solve the problem. The number sentence is 200 pesos minus 40 pesos and 50 cents times 2 plus 30 pesos and 75 cents equals N. Now we will apply the M dash. 48 pesos and 50 cents times 2. 0 times 2 is 0. 2 times 5 is 10, carry 1. 2 times 8 is 16 plus 1 is 17. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Now count the decimal point 1, 2, and then affix the peso sign. So the answer here is 97 pesos. This will be the cost of two notebooks. Next, 30 pesos and 75 cents plus 97 pesos. 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 0 is 7. 0 plus 7 is 7. 3 plus 9 is 12. Affix the decimal point and then the peso sign. 
So the answer here is 127 pesos 75 centavos. Next, 200 pesos minus 127 pesos 75 centavos. So 0 minus 5 cannot be, so we'll borrow 1 from 0. So 0 will become 9 and 0 will become 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 7 is 2. Next, cancel 0 again, it will become 9. 9 minus 7 is 2. Cancel again the 0, it will become 9. So 9 minus 2 is 7. Then, cancel 2, it will become 1. Then 1 minus 1 is 0, so no need to write the 0. Then affix the decimal point and then the peso sign. So the answer here is 72 pesos and 25 centavos is his change. Let's have another example. Denise bought 5 black pens at 5 pesos and 25 centavos each and a ruler at 12 pesos and 25 centavos. How much did she pay in all? Now, using again the four steps in analyzing the problem, the first one, plan, under the plan, what is asked. Next, what are given. Then, for letter B, understand. Under understand, we have what is the hidden question? Next, what operations to be used? And letter C, solve. And letter D, check. What is asked? How much did you pay in all? What are given? 5 black pens at 5 pesos and 25 centavos each and a ruler of 12 pesos and 25 centavos. Hidden question, how much is the cost of 5 ball pens? The operation to be used? addition and multiplication and then in solving the problem we have the number sentence 5 and 25 pesos times 5 plus 12 and 25 centavos equals n now using this number sentence 5 pesos and 25 centavos times 5 plus 12 pesos and 25 centavos equals n now we are going to use the mdas again 5 pesos and 25 cents times 5 5 times 5 is 5 25 carry 2, 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. Carry 1, 5 times 5 is 25 plus 1 is 26. Then count the decimal, 1, 2, and then affix the, the peso sign. So the answer here is 26 pesos and 25 centavos. This is the cost of 5 ball pens. Next, we're going to add 26 and pesos and 25 centavos plus 12 pesos and 25 centavos. Arrange in column, then 5 plus 5 is 0, 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5, 6 plus 2 is 8, 2 plus 1 is 3, then affix the decimal point and the peso sign. Now, 38 pesos and 50 centavos, this will be she pay in all. Now, let's have an exercise. Let us read, analyze, and solve. Raquel has 75 10 centavo coins, while Kay has 105 centavo coins. Who has more money and by how much? You may answer this on your notebook. You may start. The answer is, Raquel has more money than K by 2 pesos and 50 centavos. Now, how do we solve word problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction of decimals? We solve word problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction of decimals by following the four steps 
of analyzing the problems. These are the plan, understand, solve, and check. Now, let's have another activity. You're going to read, analyze, and solve the problem. Susan bought 3 and 5 kilos of sugar at 40 pesos and 75 centavos a kilo and a dozen of eggs at 4 pesos and 90 centavos each for the cake she will bake. She gave the cashier a 500 peso bill. How much change did she receive? You may start. You may write your answer on your notebook. The answer is 298 pesos and 57 centavos. Change she received. Now, let's have a final activity. You will solve using the four steps. Number one, mother has 50-25 centavo coins. She bought a cup of buko juice for 6 pesos. How much does she have left? Number two, Leo sold 50 pieces of candies at 75 centavos each and 25 pieces of bun paper at 50 centavos each. How much is his total sale? You may write your answer on a piece of paper, have a screenshot, and send it by a messenger for checking. You may now start. I hope you learned something today. Goodbye! Salamat!